Hello YouTube, this is Peyton Dameron from PH Poners, and today I will start off with um, how to make a register and login page. We start off with the user login, or at least I do, because I believe it's much easier and you can get all your databases set up and whatnot first, because when you register then you have to insert something into something, so it makes it a lot more complicated if you start with the register. So, um, open up Examp, make sure you have Apache and MySQL, MySQL running because MySQL will store your databases where users will be stored. <coughs> open up Context or the text editor of your choice. <coughs> now PHP file, of course. We're going to save it into... I, as you can see, have created a new folder called login session. We're going to call this page index. You can't call this page whatever you want because this is your landing page. Call it index because uh, in PHP, if you name a file index, or in any language really, if you name a file index.php, index.html, that's the file it goes to first. This will be our actual form. Alright, and um. <coughs> we will get to work on our form let's uh... start on a f well let's start with databases first All right, go to localhost forward slash php my admin um, click databases we're going to create a new database we can call it um... login session And click create. Now we can go inside our database and create tables. Now we'll create a table called users. Now pretty much everyone uses this for the name of registration and login for every site. Uh, we're going to need an ID, the ID of the user, and that will automatically count up after each user is registered. We will need username and um, password so I guess we will have three fields three go users column okay for the first one it'll be ID it'll be an integer no need to set a value um check auto increment so it automatically counts up after each user is registered. Next we will create username. We can save it as a var varjar. Uh, username, let's say 25 characters. That should be plenty enough room. Um, this all looks fine. Next we can go over to here. Password will also be a varchar. Now, what we're going to do, though, is we are going to encrypt the password. Encryption is, uh, we're using a form of encryption called an MD5 hash. MD5 hashes are always 32 characters long. And what we're going to do is encrypt it. Here, I'll show you really quick an example. MD5 D encryptor md5encryptor.com let's say um ph poners this cup tissue encrypt and this is your md5 hash that's 32 characters of a bunch of random letters and numbers so we'll set it to 32 and that makes it much harder to hack. It's almost impossible to crack it. Um, and then we can save it out. Okay, now we have our table users. Now we can leave that alone for a little bit. Now we can get to coding our form. HTML. Let's, uh, let's give it a nice little title. 
I just call it login session slash title slash head body slash body slash HTML. Um, next, we will work on our form. Form method equals post. We'll be posting the variables is what that basically means. Okay. Username input type equals text name equals username. Uh looks about right. We're gonna break the line. Password input type equals password that will make it the black dot so if anyone's looking over your shoulder they won't see it password and now we need a submit button the type is submit the name is let's say submit and value in case we need that name we probably won't but I like to just in case and the value can be, let's call it log in. Save that out. Now we can go and see what we have so far. Um, right here. Uh, log in session. And this is what we have. Uh, coming along pretty nicely, as you can see. Now we'll create another file. We'll save this as uh, login.php. Okay. Now we get to do some actual PHP. Now, dollar sign underscore post. Here, well, actually. The variable username will equal username because as you can see that's what we called it over here and then password will equal password um now we can get to checking if both the fields for username and password have been entered and to do that, we'll say if username and password have been entered, they are valid fields, then we can connect to the connect to MySQL. This is a function that comes with PHP. Uh, you'll have to put install uh, MySQL yourself unless you are running exam like I showed you in the PHP basics if you watch that it will come with MySQL we're gonna connect alright your first one is your host for everybody it should be localhost username is root still probably the same for all of you and unless you set a password your password is null so just like that nothing there I haven't set a password. Now we gotta select the database. Um, MySQL select DB and um, I believe we called it. What did we call it? Login session. Login session. Save this out. Um, we're gonna say, well, here. You know what we can do to make this better? Or die. That's a function that kills the script. It just ends the script. Meaning, if they cannot connect to your database, we will say, couldn't or not connect to your database, but connect to uh, your host. Couldn't connect to host. And then down here, we can do or die 
couldn't find database. Alright, and then we can go down here and say else. Uh, for now, we will just echo username and password must be entered. Okay, refresh. Let's not enter anything. Might help if we did that. Hmm. All right. Let's see what uh what we did wrong. Okay. If username and password. Um. Username and password must be entered. Else, echo. If username and password must be. If. Let's try this. We're saying if they haven't been entered. Then we'll go and do that. So now we're saying if they haven't be been entered, we'll put that. But if they have been entered, otherwise, if they have been entered, we can go ahead and do this. Okay. Um, action equals login.php. There we go. Alright. Now we can probably actually switch that back. I'm sorry you guys had to uh, deal with that. I'm kind of not feeling well today a little bit under the weather all right so now we can change it back okay there we go username and password must be entered Okay, it's looking good to me. Um, that's all for this tutorial. Next tutorial, I will show you how to actually log the user in. Thank you and goodbye.